I'm about to embark on an adventure in one of the most unique places in the world, hidden in the depths of Ghana. I'm just in the Shy Hills Resource Reserve, located about an hour from Accra. The Shy people are going to celebrate the Mayan festival, their homecoming, so I'm really excited, about to join them and see what happens. I'm walking through the base of where the Nyojapanya community settled centuries ago. The Mayan festival celebrates the homecoming of the Shai people. A distinct aspect of that is celebrated by the Manyo clan as they trek to the peak of the Manyo hill. Oral history claims that Gardangmi migrated from Israel all the way to the eastern banks of the Volta River. Archaeological research shows their settlement in the Shai Hills was already in existence prior to 1300 AD. The Manya people are from Israel. They are the center from Jacob. They passed through Egypt, Nigeria, and they are coming and they came and settled here for many, many years. And they descend in 1890 to their place. The festival originally celebrates the harvesting of the millet and the plantain. Today, the millet is only grown and used for ritual purposes. For three years, no food. And what they do is, they were farming, but it's, it's not rain, there's no rain. So all their crops, and they are not getting it. So when they had that food, they came together and they said, oh, the knife met in a year, let's celebrate as a festival, millet festival. The festival has now become a pilgrimage to the Shai, commemorating when the British forced them out of their hilltops in 1892 on the allegations that they were committing human sacrifice. So we're performing the rituals yes, yes. to receive approval from the ancestors before we, before we climb. climb. Yeah. Okay. Out of the eight distinct Shai dialects, the Manya people speak Say. War songs are sung to remember their ancestors who sang the same songs before they fought in battle. You know, what does it mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a warrior song. Warrior song. Yes. Wow. You have it. The Manya are preparing to sacrifice animals and libation as part of their rituals to seek approval from their ancestors before starting the track. I had never seen anything like this before. And so the long-awaited journey began as we trekked through the wild forest leading to our first resting spot. But here is the first resting place for them. They come here and rest more than they continue their journey. Because they come and stay here for some time. Before the Europeans arrived, tribal wars were common. Mountainous areas and riverbanks provided the perfect grounds for tribes to settle, offering protection from the enemy. They would just hide here. You will not see them again. Before you will know that they are, what are they? Oh, they were stoning you. Because that time, there's no gun. They are using stone to kill you. I joined the warrior to the hideout of what would have been used by the watchmen of the Shai army. So this is Manuel Yor. This is the peak of Manuel Yor. And here we can see the hideout that the Shai warriors used to uh, defeat their enemies from. Oh. At that time, who were the enemies of the Shai Oh, warriors? there are a lot of enemies around. The Asantes used to come, the Fante used to come, and the Elwes used to come. When they are coming, no matter what they are, they are Kwamuns. They fought with the Kwamuns several years. Now behind me you'll see remnants of their civilization from the 1890s, demonstrated through the clay pots that they left behind. They used to carry water from the first resting place up here and go back again. Shai tribes highly regard their pottery which predates to the 13th century and were highly sought to carry palm oil and other goods pre-colonisation. I'm sitting in what used to be a Shai house many centuries ago. These foundations were made from stones and mud and this is actually just a single room occupied by a single person. So this one, this one is a palace. And you see the way they arrange their stones. It's not easy. In the olden days, our forefathers, they are very intelligent. 
Many of the building foundations were used as burial sites until the late 19th century. A lot of important people were buried in their rooms. Some were buried in churches and others on mass burial sites. I was walking through a graveyard. On our final ascent, we visited more sacred spots, highlighting the chief stall, the maternity cave and a grinding stone for the millet before heading back to base. Dance, their songs and performances are in an old coded language to recount stories about the past. Alcohol is a mode of communication with the spiritual realm and it's how information is transmitted to the ancestral world. Wow, what an experience! The Mayan festival has given me a unique insight into the life of the Shai tribes from centuries ago. I feel honored to have observed the rituals alongside the chief of the Mania clan in this unique part of the world.